another episode of CampingGearTV.com. As always, I am your host, Ben. I am your host, Josh. And today, we are we're in the middle of Wanger Week, right? Yeah. We are looking at four different Wanger products yeah. uh, throughout this week. Yeah. You know, Wanger was uh, kind enough to send us some stuff to look at, and right. so we, we got a couple of varied products. And as yeah. some of you may know, Wanger is uh, the maker of Swiss Army. Yeah. You know, one of their main brands is Swiss Army Knife, but they also... Yeah. They make a lot of other products, and one of the ones we're looking at today is some shoes. Yeah, and uh, so the shoe we're looking at is the Wanger Monk II, um, and it's named after a mountain in Switzerland. And uh, the Monk II actually was just released this month, I believe, or in June. Um, and uh, so there was a Monk one before it that did very well, got a lot of really good ratings. Um, so we've had these for a few weeks, and we've had a chance to uh, try them out, walk around in them. Uh, I had some compliments from people that told me they liked my Swiss Army shoes, which was nice. Right. Uh, so let's talk about this shoe a little bit. It's lower profile. It's not a high. Yeah. It's not a high top hiking yeah. boot. So the the Monk is really a, a versatile hiking boot. Uh, real good for day hikes. Um, like Ben said, it's a lower profile, so it's not a full hiking boot. So um, if you're really doing some serious backpacking, maybe this isn't the the right shoe uh, because of the ankle support. But it just depends on your preferences. I think from from what we, what we've been going through, you know, because we're in the middle of testing some other gear, testing a lighter pack, you know, where you got like 10 to 20 pounds of weight. This is really good. Yeah. When you're getting into a week long hike, and you might be having a pack that is uh, heavier, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a 40 or 50 pound pack, you know, it this shoe might be a li you might need a little more than that's for. But I think still, with some of the heavier packs that we've had on yeah. right now, that this still is able to do just fine. So some of the things that this shoe is really known for and uh, really performs well with is um, it's very lightweight um, and it's very breathable. Yeah. And it's got um, a lot of uh, you know insole fortification for comfort and things of that nature. Is it waterproof? Uh, I don't think it's waterproof. No, nope. um, it's not. It's not waterproof. Um, I haven't actually got them soaking wet to test it, but I know from reading some other reviews online, I know that it's not waterproof. But I've I've gotten these a little wet. Yeah. And they're they're not waterproof, and they're not supposed to be a waterproof sh shoe. Right. But they do have a lot of materials that help uh, to dry quicker and yeah. good wicking materials and things like that. Right. So it's got um, it's got a, a, a perforated suede material that's for most of the shoe, and then it's got some nubuck on it as well. They're really nice looking shoes. Right. The, the upper here, or the tongue, is um, you know perforated as well to provide even more breathability. Um, so those are some things that give it the breathability and um, the light weight that we talked about. Um, some other things about this shoe, um, it's got an internal EVA midsole in there, which is what, what helps with the arch support, um, but also helps with breathability. Decent amount of cushioning yeah. too, even though it's low profile. Right. You know, you'd think that the bottom is real thin, right. and actually it is pretty padded, very comfortable shoe. Yeah, so in terms of the traction, it's got a skid-free lugged outsole, right? So these things are pretty pretty meaty. Yeah, they're burly. And um, we've been jumping around on some boulders and some rocks today, and they do really, really well. Uh, grab onto anything. Um, you know, works real well, real good traction. Yeah, they can do, their, they perform well in real rugged terrain, and the sole is real thick. The sole is also real hard. Mm -hmm. And one thing we know is because of that, that you should be wary of, and actually, you should be wary of this in any shoe, frankly, but if you're, if you're on rock and you happen to be near wet rock, because the sole is so hard, I think it's a little more slippery right. than, a, than a tennis shoe would do. But I think that's an area you just want to take general caution with, yeah. no matter what your shoe is. Yeah, you don't want to jump onto some moss right. and expect that it's going to hold. Right. Yeah. So um, I looked at uh, uh, some reviews of these shoes just to see what other people have been saying. Um, and they get a lot of favorable reviews. A lot of people... Um, Alltrek.com, for example, um, had a bunch of reviews on there, and I think like 90% of the reviews gave it five out of five stars, and only a couple were four out of five. Right. Uh, and uh, pretty much everybody that commented there said they were really comfortable, lightweight, versatile. Um, so you know that's good. Is this the shoe that has that option where it sends out that odor that keeps bears away? 
Yes. It, it, yeah, I thought it's so. This shoe. Right. So bears will not attack you when wearing right. this shoe, which right. is ever so important when you're in bear country. Right. Hiking. Right. Which is pretty much all the hiking country. Which is where we are today. We've already slayed seven bears today. Seven. Yeah. yeah. We took down seven bears, but there was a cub that we let go. One over there right now, if you see it. We'll get him when we're done. So, so overall, yeah. yeah, real real good shoe. How's, uh, how's the arch support for you? I, I think it's fine. You know, I yeah. I can go uh, all day in these, and I think my feet are gonna be, are, are fine. Yeah. And you know, I've had I've had days where you know, obviously, I've just worn them out and about casually too. Yeah. You know, which is another good thing where, you know, it's it's a a nice enough and versatile shoe where it's you know something you yeah. can you can wear this to the grocery store. Some Absolutely. Hike, some hiking boots you might not look yeah. you know as uh, right as cool. So yeah, the, ride your bike with them sure, if you want, yeah. you know, because of the good traction, you know, they'll hold your pedals real nicely. Uh, they also, they make these in men's and women's. Different, so different, for, different colors, too. All our lady viewers out there. I think this is, uh, am I correct, this is mushroom? This is the mushroom color, and I believe that's the only color scheme that it comes in. Oh, I thought they had others. It might be the monk one that I'm thinking Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, this is the mushroom. Maybe there's other colors. The, uh, the one thing that I'd like to see different are some different shoelaces. These, in oh, my really? mind, yeah, they're kind of stiff, and I don't think I get as, as tight of a, uh, a tight of a tie with these shoelaces. Okay. And you know, because they're they're circled, they're not flat. Well, that they, they, they seem to loosen up too once they've been tied. That's, you can always get some shoelaces to suit your preference. Right, right. But I'm telling you, with the uh, with the bear repellent option, you can't go wrong with these shoes. How much do they cost without the bear repellent option? Without the bear repellent, they're $89.95 okay. MSRP. Sure. With the bear repellent, I think they're $370,000. Right. So. Yeah. The bear repellent is some new technology they're obviously working on. Right. But anyways. Monk, real solid shoe. Yep. Anything else? I think that's it. Uh, so if you're uh, looking for a good versatile shoe slash hiking shoe slash lady killer, right? The Monk too. Yeah. By, by Wanger. Come back and check out more videos. Like we got, we we'll be featuring uh, Wanger products all this week, and we'll be taking a look at some other stuff later. CampingGearTV.com. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>